Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can make this Romy summer dress. Here is one that I have uh, already made. Then I was uh, thinking that it uh, it will be a good uh, thing to make also a video tutorial. So I'm basically making the second one now that I'm shooting this video. I'm using uh, this type of yarn is uh, merchandise cotton. The recommended needle is 2.5, 3.5 millimeter, and we are using a 3.5 crochet hook or E US size. I'm using this three color. This is a uh, mint green. We will also use for um, the middle of the dress. We we will use hade and dark tail or teal. I don't know how uh, exactly it's called. This dress uh, is worn top down and we are starting with the foundation chain. Now here on the video I'm working size M. Um, I will also give you the numbers for size S also but you can find on my blog and I will add the link in the description below. Uh, all the numbers uh, counting stitches for sizes from S to XL. So for size S you'll have to change 280 stitches and for size M 290. Basically you will have to add 10 more stitches on the foundation chain with each size. Then after you will finish the foundation make sure that you are marking the middle stitch and then we will start to work our first two rounds we will start working in rounds and we are starting with chain four and then skip the next stitch and make one double crochet in the next one basically the main stitch uh, that you we are using for this pattern is a uh, fillet stitch or um, uh, double crochet with windows whatever you want to call it is like a one double crochet chain one skip one and another double crochet in the next stitch and this is how it looks with these small windows we will continue with the pattern until we will get to the um, marked stitch which is basically our middle stitch you will find the count stitches that you will have to have them between uh, the end of the round and the mark stitch on my blog. And now we will have to increase. So we are doing in the mark stitch one double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet in the same stitch. And after that we continue with chain one, skip one and one double crochet until the end of the row. And I will show you how to finish the row right away. okay i just made the stitch i am about to finish this round first before to finish the round make sure that your uh, first round is not twisted or something it has to be straight and now remember that we increase in the middle stitch uh, here uh, in front and we will have to make an increase at the end of the row as well so we are making this increase in the very first stitch where we started so chain one make one double crochet in the same stitch as the starting chain and then chain three and join with the third stitch of the starting chain and our first row is done so we have here the same increase that we did it in the opposite side. Now we will start the next row from the chain three space here. So you have to come back, turn a, a bit 
I just made here a single crochet then just uh, chain three with the single crochet we will have four stitches which is the starting chain and then we will continue with one double crochet on the top of the uh, double crochet that is uh, on the previous row chain one skip the chain stitch and one double crochet in the next double crochet and we will continue making uh, this pattern this stitch pattern until we will get to the chain three space that we have it in front in the middle of our work and there we will have to make another increase okay here we are at the th chain three space now chain one make one double crochet in the chain three space chain three and another double crochet in the same space then continue chain one skip the chain stitch one double crochet on the top of the double crochet that you have on the previous row continue like this until you will get to the end of the round okay we are at the end of the round and we will have to make the increase again so we have the starting chain which uh, count as a double crochet there in the chain three space at the end i'm making the last double crochet now then then chain one one and make one double crochet in the chain three space chain three and join with a slip stitch with the third stitch and the first two rounds are done and now we we will have to cut the yarn because now we have basically the first round the collar and we are uh, we are done with the shoulder straps and now we will have to work separately the top part of the dress we are working the back and front separately we are putting the our work like this one side uh, after the other it doesn't really matter because we will count the stitches and now starting from the middle you'll have to count from the for uh, on the right and on the left 33 stitches for size s 37 for size m and put a stitch marker in the 33 or 37 uh, stitch just to know where your uh, row is starting and where it's uh, the end of the row now i will uh, start the round starting from working from right to left and make sure that you are working on the wrong side i'm removing the stitch marker here and we will join the yarn and start the row with four stitches four chain stitches then one double crochet on the top of the next double crochet chain one skip the chain stitch skip one stitch one double crochet next and continue like this until you get to the chain three space where you'll have to make the increase with one double crochet chain three one double crochet in the same space okay here we are at the middle of the row one double crochet chain three one double crochet in the same space then continue with the stitch pattern until you get to the second uh, stitch marker where we mark the end of the row and we will finish the row with chain one and one double crochet in the marked stitch 
you can now remove the stitch marker you don't need it anymore now chain four and basically we will repeat this first row until you'll have in total uh, 13 uh, rows for size S and um, like this okay okay and repeat basically the first row until you'll have 13 rows for size s 15 for size m and we are adding uh, two rows with each uh, bigger size this is the front part i just finished the front part uh, the top part of the front we can now cut the yarn and we will proceed the same with the back side only that on the back side because uh, we wanted to have the wide uh, neck line on the back so it's a deeper back um, back line we will count count also from the middle but this time 55 stitches for the size S, 57 for size M, and also you will find uh, the other uh, stitch count uh, for the other sizes on my blog. You can see if you put, uh, um, if you are putting middle of over middle, you will find out how many rows you will have to do for the back. It's how many uh, putting the stitch marker at the end on the front side, middle over the middle of the front side. And you'll see that you can uh, count the rows that you'll have to make on the back side. On size M, I made five rows. But on, um, uh, on size uh, S, you'll have to do only three, for example. And now after finishing the back also, it's time to join the back and front. I put here in the corners some stitch markers just to help me to hold the both pieces together. And we will start from where uh, your yarn is, so you don't have to cut the yarn after finishing the back. We will start as usual, like you'll make uh, one more row on the back with chain four. And you'll have to continue with the stitch pattern until you get on the opposite side. So uh, where the stitch marker is and where you'll have to join the back with front. We are working in the same way. You'll have to keep continue increasing in the middle corner. Now let's see how we will do the join. So we are making one double crochet in the last stitch that we have on the back side. Then you can chain one or you cannot, uh, whatever you wish. I will just chain one after making the last double crochet here. Chain one and then make one double crochet in the first stitch of the front side then we are continue with the stitch pattern until we are getting to the opposite side and we will finish the round and i will show you how you can finish the round there When you are starting and joining the both pieces together, you will have to make sure that you are working on the right side. It doesn't really matter because uh, this stitch pattern is looking the same on the right and front. So it doesn't matter at all, but you can try to work on the, on the right side. Okay, now that we are at the end of the row, we are doing one last double crochet in the last stitch, then chain one, 
and slip stitch with the third stitch of the starting chain and this was the end of the joining uh, round and now we are starting the next round with two slip stitches we have to start the round on the second double crochet that we have here always each round will start in the same way with two slip stitches then chain four and continue working the stitch part pattern as you did until now until you get to the second armpit basically where we will have to make a decrease uh, with this uh, round working uh, on the body of the dress we will have to decrease on the side just to keep a straight line of the dress otherwise if we are not decreasing the dress we will take an A shape so when we are uh, at the armpit we will just skip four stitches so we will do the last double crochet in the stitch before that is before the last one then skip four stitches and make the next double crochet in the second stitch of the other side so you will have four stitches in the middle that you will have to skip to make the decrease then continue with the stitch pattern until you will get to the end of the row and I will show you how to make the decrease at the end of the row remember that we slip stitch two stitches but let's get there and I will show you right away okay here we are at the end of the row so we have to skip two stitches from this side and we have the two stitches skipped at the beginning of the row so basically right now just slip stitch with the third stitch and this was it now we will uh, repeat this round once uh, once more with the same color we are starting the round like I said, each round will start the same with uh, slip two stitches. We will finish uh, one more round with this color and then we will change with the second color that we choose for our dress. Okay, now I finished the round and i'm joining uh, exactly after the slip stitch i'm joining the second color then we will start the row as uh, i said with two slip stitches and basically we will repeat the same round two only that with this second color and we will make three more rounds using this color and then we will change a bit the pattern and also the color again so let's make three more rows repeating the second row like this this is how is uh, our dress looking after the three rows now we will join the main color again we will work the next round in the main color so this mint uh, green we are joining the yarn and changing the color again after finishing the previous row and the only difference with this uh, round will be that we will work the same window stitches only that this time with, with triple crochet not in double crochet but in triple crochet we are starting the row again with uh, two slip stitches until the second double crochet and we will start the round with chain five this time because we have triple crochet then one triple crochet in the next double crochet chain one skip the chain stitch and one triple crochet in next so basically it's the same pattern only that we are changing the double crochet into a triple crochet 
okay and we will work this round like this the decrease uh, on size is, uh, is made in the same way so again we are skipping four stitches in the middle one chain stitch, one double crochet, one double crochet, one chain stitch and making a triple crochet in the next. Then continue with the stitch pattern. The increase in the middle is made the same with one triple crochet this time, chain three and one triple crochet. And finish this round in the same way so it's the same stitch pattern or only that we are working with triple crochet now we are changing the color again this time with the second contrasting color that we are using and we will change the pattern a bit but the row will start again with two slip stitches so doesn't matter which stitch pattern we are using we are uh, starting the round the same now we will chain three because we will work this round just in double crochet so now start making one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet on the top of the th uh, triple crochet from the previous round and one double crochet on the chain one as well and when you are getting in the middle and you'll have to make the increase it will be a little bit, bit different this time let's see we will do two double crochet in the chain three space then chain three and again two double crochet in the same chain three space we are working only two solid rows so this one and uh, the next one the decrease on uh, sides will be the same. You will have to skip uh, four stitches in the middle as well. So it doesn't matter if it's uh, chain stitches like on the pattern with windows or double crochet. You will just have uh, to skip four stitches in the middle. On the windows row you will have uh, one chain, one double crochet one double crochet one chain and on a solid row on the next one you'll have two double crochet and two double crochet to skip and after that you'll continue making like i said one more solid row then repeating the previous row this one with triple crochet also in um, the main color and the last row of the body will be with uh, one more row with this uh, jade green that we use uh, on the rows that are before the triple crochet row so this is the body of the dress and basically we now finished uh, the body and uh, basically we won't finish we don't didn't finish the body but we will start to fill the sides and uh, when we are filling the sides we are working the left and the right separately and one row will start in one middle corner of the back and will end in the opposite corner on the front side and we will have to decrease at the beginning in the middle and at the end of the row middle of the row uh, the middle decrease will be the same decrease that we will uh, we did it uh, until now when we were working on the body let's see how uh, this row will start so we are joining the yarn in the chain three space make three chain stitches and then you'll have to skip the first window that you have it here so basically skip one double crochet and one chain and make one double crochet in on the top of the next double crochet then continue with the stitch pattern until you'll get, you will get uh, at the middle decrease the middle decrease you'll have to do it uh, in the same way as you did it until now so nothing is uh, changing uh, here also on the blog you'll find a stitch chart 
uh, with uh, the decrees and how the sides are worked when you have to fill, fill the sides and uh, straighten the bottom. Now we are at the middle decrease and we are proceeding the same. So skip four stitches in the middle. Then you'll have to continue with the stitch pattern until you'll have one window left. So basically one chain stitch and one double crochet at the end here. So here the decrease at the end of the row, it will be basically two wide double crochet together. So we are making one partial double crochet, then skip two stitches and another partial double crochet. Then chain three and skip the first window so one chain and uh, we will do in the second the double crochet one double crochet in this way we are making the decrease at the beginning of the row then continue with the stitch pattern until you'll get in the middle make the middle decrease keeping four stitches and then at the end you will do one uh, partial double crochet in the uh, stitch in the double crochet that is in uh, a previous the last one and one partial double crochet in the last one and work the two double crochet together and repeat this row until basically your bottom is straight and you don't have any stitches left I will show you right away after uh, I'm getting there how the um, this part is finished and I forgot to tell you before to start uh, filling the sides you'll have to count the stitches that you have uh, from the front corner to the middle decrease and from the middle decrease to the back uh, side corner because if you don't have the same number of stitches you can count the windows and uh, you will have to adjust that, that at the first row to make sure that uh, you will have the same number of stitches on each side. We will continue repeating this row until all the side is filled in and the bottom is straight. And I will show you right away how it looks when you are getting to the end. Basically we are decreasing at the beginning, at the middle and at the end. And we will start with each row we will have less stitches. So here we are at the end basically. This will be the last row. It will start in the same way. So chain 3. Then turn and make your first double crochet on the second double crochet here skip one chain stitch and then here you have to make the middle decrease and then you have only one window left so we will do the two double crochet together when we are making the middle decrease and this is it so basically we have the three decreases one uh, after each other made make them to finish the row and now we just finish one side and we just have to repeat the pattern on the other side and after that um, our dress will be straight at the bottom and basically with this step you complete one top if you want if you don't want to work on the length you just have one top to use it like this if you want but let's see how we will continue working on the length of the dress so basically we are start working uh, to work in rounds again the row will start here where your yarn is in one side of the dress and we are doing two rounds in fillet stitch so start the row with chain four when working on this uh, side where we made the uh, uh, where we work the two triangles to fill the sides 
you'll see that it will be a little bit difficult to make the windows but try to keep the window like uh, the distance between the double crochet like it will be uh, one single stitch okay uh, by the time you are working you can um, look at your work and make sure that it's straight that it's not too tight or too large and make this at the first on the first row that you are working on the length to make sure that you will keep a straight line of the of the dress after working the first row we are doing one more row like this uh, in a double crochet with windows and then we will start with the pattern that I uh, use uh, use it for the length the pattern will be one uh, round in double crochet and one round in um, window stitch but using the triple crochet not the double crochet and this is it make as many rounds as you need until you get to the desired length okay so after making the two rounds using the fillet stitch basically we will do the next round of the length by alternating one round in double crochet and one round in uh, the stitch with windows but using the triple crochet when you are starting the round in double crochet you will start the round with chain three the chain three at the beginning will count like uh, the, the first double crochet and then continue with one double crochet in each stitch and the next row will be with uh, double uh, with triple crochet one triple crochet chain one skip one one triple crochet if you want you can turn after each round or working only on the right side if you are turning after each round you are basically make sure that your uh, joining seam is not uh, moving to right and it will uh, be straight and after completing the desired length I just made the first two rounds in uh, fillet stitch and then nine more rounds alternating these two uh two rounds one in double crochet and one in um triple crochet with windows nine more rounds but make as many rounds as you wish until you get to the desired length after completing this length is optional but you can add the border on the neckline on the uh armholes and also at the bottom of the dress if you want and this was it hope you like it and you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and see you next time